Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So we're continuing on with the splash screen script. Now before we do anything else with the script, we're going to come right to the very top and add a new using statement. So we'll say using and we want unity engine dot scene management. We'll close the line off there. So this just allows us to actually change the scene in Unity via code. And now we'll come down to splash screen fade in. I'm going to say if and we'll open and close brackets. We'll come inside the brackets and we'll say splash screen and we want the fade value double equals and one. We'll come to the end of the line, no need to close it off, and we'll put into the comment that if fade value equals one, we'll enter there, and then we want to change to the next function, the next state, which is the signed out. So, in order to change to fade out, we need to use this naming convention. So let's come down. So we'll use the splash screen controller and we'll say it will be equal. And then we need to say splash screen, the name of the script, dot we want the splash screen controller dot again and then the function we want in this case fade out we'll close the line off there let's just enter after the equals to break the line up and we'll put it into the comments so we'll say uh, set yeah set splash screen controller to equal and then we'll come to the next line let's have a look set splash screen controller to equal and we'll say splash screen fade out Let's just save that there a moment. So, we fade in from a value of zero. We make sure we get an absolute value of one. And if it equals that absolute value, then set our switch block to fade out. And let's come to the bottom of the splash screen fade out now. And that is where this using statement is now needed because we're going to switch to the next scene. And we're going to do that by saying if open and close brackets again, the splash screen fade value is equal now to zero. Again, no need to close the line off, but straight into the comments. So we'll say if fade value equals zero we'll enter so now once we have a value of one we switch to fade out we decrease back to zero we make sure we cannot have a negative value and if it equals zero we need to load the next scene so we can do this now by saying scene manager dot and we want load scene. We'll open and close brackets. We'll close the line off. We'll come inside the brackets, little speech marks. And then we're going to say controller warning. And that's going to be the next scene that we are actually going to create. Um, we're going to have another scene between the splash screen and the main menu where we warn the player 
that this is a controller only game. So let's put that into the comments. So we'll just say load scene controller warning. And we'll save there. So that's now these two functions complete. And now all we have to do is create the GUI. So we're going to say void. And in fact, we'll put private. Shouldn't be necessary, but we'll put private at the beginning. Private void on GUI. Take note of the capitalization on the O and on GUI lowercase n. We'll open and close brackets. We'll open and close again. And what we're going to say is GUI dot and we want draw texture. And then we'll open and close brackets again. We'll come inside the brackets and we're going to say new and we want of type ret. We'll open brackets again and we're going to say 0, 0, 0. So this is the position on screen we're going to start drawing the GUI. Now because this, this is a full screen GUI we're going to start it right in the co co corner. So coordinate 0, 0 and then we're going to define how large we want it and because it's a full screen GUI we can do this quite simply by saying screen dot width comma screen dot height and we'll come to the end after the close brackets we're going to say comma and then what we want to draw so in this case it's going to be the splash screen background and we'll close the line off so let's break this down for commenting I'll enter here after the zero zero I think and let's enter here oh and uh, I just forgot the close brackets there so let's put this into the comments so we'll say draw texture starting at zero zero we'll come to the next line we'll say by the screen width and height to the next line we'll say and draw the background texture and then we'll copy this and I'm going to enter a few times I'm going to create more than a single line break and you'll see why in a minute and now we just need to change this variable and we want the splash screen text and we'll just say that in the comments splash screen well, let's just change texture to text so we draw the background first we draw the text over the top but we need the text to fade in and fade out so how do we do that and I'm going to come here and it's going to sit between these two blocks of code. And we're going to say GUI dot and we're going to use color. I'm going to say it's going to be equal to new color. We'll open and close brackets. We'll close the line off. We'll come inside the brackets. Now we're going to say one comma one comma one comma and I'll explain what these values are these are the RGB 
and we're not altering the RGB so they can stay at a value of 1 but the last value is the alpha which is the transparency and we want the transparency to be the splash screen fade value which is the variable we are adjusting here and here so let's get that into the comments GUI color is equal to and we'll just put I'm gonna put brackets that'll do and then I'll just say plus the fade value because that's the important part of this line so with that done let's save that off now obviously we have not created the scene we'll be loading into controller warning so that may give us an error but we'll not worry about that we'll just test see if the fade actually works which should in fact we did create the controller warning in the last video so we should be all right to go let's come to main camera and we'll come to the GUI and we'll assign a background which is just plain black in my case now we'll come to the splash screen text I've just put created by and my name you must make sure that it has a transparent background not a white background and that the alpha is transparency is ticked otherwise this will not work and we'll assign that there so let's just hit play and as you can see we fade in and we should fade out and there we go we're beginning to fade out now and we've loaded into the controller warning scene my apologies I did forget we actually created that in our last lesson <laughs> so yes um the actual text is working um i'm looking for some appropriate music to use with this series obviously with this being youtube i want to make sure that i use uh, copyright free public domain clips i'm sure you can all appreciate why for the purposes of youtube so i'll try and get something assigned ready for the next video so when we actually uh, continue on creation with this series which the next lesson will start the controller warning scene we'll be able to load in and we'll be able to hear everything working as we test everything out so i think this is a good place to leave this video so as always i hope you enjoyed it i hope to see you next time and until then as always Bye for now.